All right, Brandon has a question. Is it possible really to automatically be added to a drip campaign? Yes. So that's what I want to go into next. So depend, it's, this feature is available into, in Pro and Enterprise. So what you want to do is when you go and click on any leads uh, campaign, you'll see these two tabs called drip automation and tag automation. So what this does is exactly what Brandon asked. You can have this lead be automatically, uh, sorry, Brandon, not Brandon. I apologize, man. Um, so this lead could automatically be put on your drip campaign without you doing anything. I would definitely do this for any leads that you're getting through PPC, SEO, paper lead, the ones that you are like any inbound leads that you're spending money on trying to get it, you know, generate those leads. I would 100% do this. Uh, so what you do is you go into this and you can do it based on every single campaign. So uh, the ones that you have for Google PPC, paper lead, definitely do that. So you go in, check yes. And then you can do it based on Zapier, Carrot, depending on different triggers that we have. Uh, you go ahead and select yes. And then what you do is select what trip you want to put them on. So this is where you would select, like, you know, you might have an online or PPC lead, for example, this. So any lead that comes in from your trip camp or from your, for that campaign through Zapier integration or through Carrot website, it will automatically be on this trip campaign without you doing anything. So how we use in our businesses for uh, PPC leads that are coming into our pipeline, they automatically get put on a drip campaign. They're getting a call from us immediately, uh, not call, sorry. They're getting a text from us immediately. They're getting an email from us uh, within a minute. And then we wait five minutes to call them. So they get a text, an email, we wait and see if they responded to either call, uh, if they've responded to either text or email to see if they might wanna communicate through text or email with us. If not, then we call them. And if they do not pick up, we leave them on a drip campaign. So you don't have to do anything. You just go ahead and do this. I'll quickly show you on this also how it works. So I'm going to do new lead strip and I will select a web form. So copy this. So it would work the same way if you were doing through Zapier test lead. So this is for my Google AdWords. And let me just make sure I saved it. Okay, I did. Yep. So once I do this, I'm sorry, Google and PPC. So I, I don't know what's going on. This is my test account, but hopefully it should still push it right here. Yep. So if you look right here, it automatically pushed the lead and the lead is already on a drip campaign. So it would work the same way if you're getting a lead through Zapier, if you're getting a lead through website, even if you had a lead from missed call, uh, there's like a few different triggers that you can use it for. Uh, if I go right here, uh, I think you can do it based on whether the call was answered or not answered, uh, missed call. Uh, so if I go right here, uh, but at least we use it for um, the Zapier, the website triggers. And also, yeah, that's that's what we mainly use it for. So Braden, your question about automatically putting lead 100% you definitely want to do this. It really, really automates the follow-up. So you could possibly, and then there's no limit to how many steps you can have on a drip campaign. So, you know, a lot of people, what they like to do is like, especially coming from audio or some other system, like there's, you know, traditionally been a limit on how many steps you can have on a drip campaign. So with recently, there's no limit to number of steps and number of drips. So what you could do is you could have a drip campaign with like hundred steps or more. The first, 10, 15 steps, a little bit more aggressive where, you know, you're trying to call them every day, a couple of times a day, texting them, emailing them. And then if you don't hear back from them for a week, then you wait once a week, you know, for a couple of weeks and then every other week, then monthly, then every other month. So you can have the same drip, but change the frequency of how often you're texting them. Uh, but yeah, this again, so what would happen with this is once the lead is created in your system, it would automatically based on the lead that came in, whether it's on a drip, created a task, it would update throughout the system. So again, everything eventually comes back to this dashboard. 
you know, whether you have lead on a drip or not, uh, you want to manage everything that you have from this dashboard, your task, you, you know, your abandoned leads, new leads, everything. So now this is six because I just had a new lead come into my pipeline right here. So as I work on this, you know, uh, and I mark it completed or whatnot, then I want to move it to the next stage in my pipeline and then just manage it and make sure my dashboard is getting cleared out. So that's one way uh, to automate your lead follow up. And the other is uh, this feature is only available in enterprise plan, but it's really, really cool feature. It's what you can do is so we call it speed to lead. Basically what it is doing, it, it is connecting you with the lead in literally 30 to 45 seconds without any human interaction. Um, so you can say, all right, as soon as the lead is created from this campaign, if it comes from, uh, you know, recently websites, when we go live, we'll go live, by the way, next week, um, we finalize that. And if the lead comes from Zapier integration carrier, or if it comes from a, a web form, what it will do is it will immediately send a text message to whoever the owner and acquisition manager are for that lead. So let's say if I am the owner and I have two acquisition managers on that lead, so send a text to me. Um, you want to make sure they are on you have this selected not do not call and then it'll send a text message to the two acquisition people that i have and it'll basically send you information of name of the person uh, name of the lead property address and the lead source so in this case we'll say let's say one two three main street john doe and lead came from google adwords ppc campaign so you know yes some background on the lead and then it will immediately call you so someone is on your recently website they fill out uh, a form, they want to be caught, you know, they put in their property information. You immediately get a text and everyone on your team gets a call immediately. So let's say if I pick up, so it's calling my, me as the owner, it's calling my acquisition managers. So it's ringing all three of them on our cell phones. So I pick up the phone, it's going to say recently instant lead connect, press one to be connected. All you do is just press one and then it immediately calls the lead. It will hang up the call that went out to the acquisition manager. It'll just keep you on the line and it will start ringing the lead. And this happens very, very instantly, like within 30 to 45 seconds, you're immediately connected with the lead. So even, you know, while the person might still be on the website, on your website, checking you out, you, they already have a call from you from the phone number that they saw on the website. So the text that you're getting, the call that you're getting on, your phone number and the acquisition man, it's all happening from the campaign number. Even the lead, the call that the lead is getting also happens from the campaign phone number. So everything stays from that campaign phone number. And then all your communication activity lock, everything gets saved in the lead itself. So really, really cool feature, especially again, I would say for paper lead, PPC, uh, SEO leads that you really want to start, you really want to get in touch with as soon as possible.